Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome to Chatomics. So today in this short video, I'm going to show you how to convert different gene IDs. So I remember 10 years ago, uh, when I started to learn computational biology, it was a problem for me. And it seems like 10 years later, it's still a problem for many of us. So I figured that I want to uh, make a video just for this. So first, to convert different gene IDs, so for example, you have gene symbol, you have ensemble ID, you have untrans ID. Those are all different IDs, but they are not necessarily actually one to one corresponding to each other. Okay, so you want to convert uh, different IDs. And uh, first, you can use the GUI tool, for example, David. Uh, so it's a really popular actually, pathway analysis GUI tool, and it also has a functionality to do the conversion. So if you click this link, it will bring you to. Uh, this so you can type all those uh, gene symbol in, in this case uh, just three uh, gene symbols and then uh, choose what kind of uh, type of, of this identifier it's an official gene symbol so you, or you can select others and then you select uh, what the uh, ID that you want to convert it to and then you can click submit to conversion tool okay so the other tool is called BioDBNet. I also have the link in the R Markdown file. The same thing, so you can uh, paste uh, the gene IDs here and uh, define uh, what's the uh, input uh, ID format and also the output gene uh, ID format, okay? It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, so it's kind of handy if you uh, don't want to use the command line. Okay, But today I'm going to show you how to uh, do this type of thing uh, within R. So in R, you can use bioconductor package called this uh, database called uh, Organism uh, Homo Sapiens Database. So if you don't have it, you can use uh, BioC Manager to install it. I already have it, so I will just load the library. And uh, this the other library that you want to use. So for example, if you, uh, after you load this library, if you just do this, you will say, okay, this is uh, uh, Organism DB object, and the Supporting package is the annotation DBI, so I will load this package again as well. And next, I will just define a vector of genes that I want to uh, convert. So it's just official genes, uh, gene symbol VGFA, CDCF, and hypoxia inducible factor 1A. Okay, so in this package, there is a command uh, function called select. And if you want to actually um, access this uh, function, you can use double colon here. And it will ask the R to use the function select within this package. Because if you, I use dplyr or, or tidyverse a lot, and in dplyr there's also a select function. So to avoid uh, collisions of different functions, uh, the same function name in different packages, you can use this double colon sign. For example, in dplyr, you can do dplyr, dplyr, then double um, colon, then select, okay? okay? Let's run it. And you can specify the database, the key uh, is this genes, and then uh, you want to return onchan's ID and the key type symbol, okay? To do this, it returns a data frame with two columns. The first column is our input, uh, the second column is our output on trans ID, and it has this uh, warning here, so, okay, it does uh, return one-to-one -one mapping between the keys and the columns, or the values, uh, but it's not always the case, because sometimes uh, the symbol and the gene symbol and the on trans ID, they are not necessarily one-to-one, -one. so just be careful and be aware of that. Uh, similarly, uh, in Mm, this package called Cluster Profiler, I actually had a video before to use it to do GCA analysis. And in this package, there's a function called BITR. I believe it's just a wrapper of this function. And you can use the same uh, uh, genes that you want to convert from symbol and to functions ID. And this is, again, the uh, database. If you do this, it actually returns the same thing. That's very handy. And uh, by the way, if you don't know what other columns or gene IDs that are available, you can always uh, uh, just 
look at the help page, right? So, and then see the column, different columns, the different key types. For example, in this database, we can see columns. Um, TV, and you see those are the available uh, type of gene, gene IDs, for example, ensemble, functions ID, uh, many others here, okay? Symbol here, the goal term even, okay? So the other tool uh, I want to introduce is called MyGeneInfo. So if you click here, so it, if you go to about, so this is a, like a, uh, this tool uh, provides a simple to use REST web uh, service to query and retrieve gene annotation data. It is developed in Scripps uh, Institute. And uh, luckily you can do it in Python, but there's also a R package called MyGene here. So you can do, you install by BioSeq Manager install my gene. I already have it, so just like load the library. And uh, if then you can use this query manning function, and this is the same genes, scopes. Okay, so the input the type is a symbol, and this the fields. And then it's a human, and let's see what we have. And you see it, it returns, okay, the ensemble gene, the, the reporter, like those actually are the uh, uh, micro uh, probe IDs, and that might be handy if you have old uh, micro data. Okay. So okay, that's it for for today. I hope this is uh, helpful for you. Make sure you subscribe to this video uh, to this channel, and uh, happy learning. See you next time.